Light is at once both obvious and mysterious. Light is a wave. Isn't it crazy? How can a light source have wave characteristics? So, we can see things, right? But how can we perceive them? All these questions lead us to one misunderstanding, which is, what is light? Hi, my name is Melek Miko, and today I'm going to be talking about light as a wave. There was a long debate between Isaac Newton and Christian Huygens about the nature of light. Newton assumed light as a particle because he had noticed it was traveling in straight lines and could travel through a vacuum. While Christian Huygens assumed light is a wave because he had noticed it diffracts when it passes around obstacles. In fact, both assumptions are true. That's what scientists call the duality of light. But today, I'll put the point on the wave assumption. So, we've been talking about waves, but do we actually know what they mean? A wave is a disturbance or variation that transfers energy for progressively from point to point in a medium. Our sun emits light, also known as electromagnetic radiation. Light's family consists of seven electromagnetic radiation which are represented in the electromagnetic spectrum. The tiniest part of this spectrum is what we call visible light. It's the only radiations we can perceive and we as humans are conditioned to see. So, can we consider ourselves blind since we can see the smallest part of what the word offers us from landscapes? Very tough question, isn't it? Now, each electromagnetic wave has its own identity. Although they come from the same family, but they are slightly different from one another. The divergences between visible light and other waves reside in three main factors. The wavelength, which is the distance between two corresponding points on uh, successive waves, usually peak to peak. The frequency, which is the number of waves passed per second, its unit is hertz. And the energy, which depends on how long or short the wavelength is. And so there's the frequency. When the wavelength is short, the energy is more efficient, and vice versa. Now that we talked about light as a wave and defined all the wave components, we should prove this light behavior, don't you think so? So let's get into it. Before getting into the experiment, we'll see how a water wave behaves. As the picture shows, when two waves A and B meet with each other, they interfere creating this pattern. Now keep in mind this and let's move on to the experiment. Thomas Young, an English physician, designed and run one of the most famous experiments in the history of science. It's, to, it's known today as the double slit experiment and requires simple equipment. A laser, black tape, scissors and some wire. First, we put the wire in front of the laser pointer to create two slits. We next add tape to secure and add tape like this to make the slits narrower. We can clearly distinguish the well-known pattern seen in the last experiment, which showed that light scattered follow in a very specific way, which is only created when two waves interfere. There is no other possible explanation to it. The pattern shows that the light is moving in waves. I'm running out of time. See you. 